What is going on guys, Felo here. Today will be a little vlog about my day. I will show you what I eat, how many times I eat, how much calories I eat and how much protein I eat. So you get a little insight about uh, what I do to stay in shape. And before we get into my meal number one, I tell you my stats. So I'm 175 and I weigh around 68 kilograms. So I'm not super jacked or anything, I'm just lean. I normally shoot for around 2,500 to 2,700 calories every day and at least 150 grams of protein. And this might sound a lot, but I walk every day around 15 to 20,000 steps, which burns a lot of calories. So that said, I would say let's go into my meal number one. So my first meal in the morning is around 7.30 to 8 o'clock and normally I, I go for oats and I put tons of stuff in there like cocoa powder, protein powder, skewer, banana, walnuts and on the end every time I put some whipped cream on there. And guys, if you never tried to put whipped cream on, my, on your oats, please try this once. It's, it will elevate your oat experience like crazy. <laughs> I will show you on the screen what is in here right now and I will enjoy my food. Tell me in the comments if you have any ideas what I have to try with oats. Like maybe there is some kind of special ingredients that would, that would elevate this even more. So breakfast done. This meal will keep me full like for at least four to five hours. This was full of fiber, full of protein. So now we'll clean this up, drink my second espresso and then I will go for my first walk. Normally I walk around 15,000 steps during the week and on the weekends I shoot for at least 20,000 sometimes until 30,000 steps Welcome back to my kitchen to meal number two So my meals are not always the same but the concept behind my meals are always the same I will show you what I mean My meals consist of two parts Part number one is to fill me up and it's always a huge amount of veggies always It's either a salad or like this, just raw vegetables. This is paprika, carrots, fennel and pickles. And this is 180 calories. Only this table. This is a huge amount of uh, vegetables. And then the second part of my meal is always something that I really, really love. And this is gnocchi with chicken breasts and a spicy tomato sauce. So I really love pasta, but the problem is with pasta. I mean, this little amount of gnocchi has 220 calories. That's the problem. This is basically how I eat. I have something that I truly love. Really, I enjoy my food so much. And then something like vegetables to fill me up. So I'm satisfied. Because let's be honest, I mean, nobody freaks out when he sees a carrot. <laughs> Ba-dum-bum-bum 
is the plate. Guys, this tastes amazing. You have to try this. It's called gnocchi. It's an Italian pasta with uh, potatoes and flour. And this whole meal has roughly 600 calories and it will make me full like at least for four to five hours. Diet Coke. Don't drink your calories, guys. That's stupid. I wonder if someone could eat 10,000 calories of vegetables. Do you think this is possible? 10,000 calories of, let's say, fennel, that's insane, man. So this was crazy good. And even though it's, it was only 600 calories, I feel so full and satisfied at the same time because I, I love this, this meal. And I think this is the key to success, guys. Pick something like vegetables that fill you up like crazy and then combine it with something that you really love. So this way you, you have best of both worlds, right? It's two o'clock and I've already walked um, 12,000 steps. So I will go to the gym now and then see you on my meal number three. Workout done. So for the people that are interested, I will put my workout down in the description because maybe you want to get this huge amount of muscle like me. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, guys, I work out pretty much every day, but I think I don't have the best like bodybuilding genetics. It's 5.30 and what I usually do at this time is I eat some kind of ice cream. Sometimes I eat one of these low calorie ice creams like this and sometimes I do the ice cream myself. And this is a protein ice cream. It's called Pro Delight. Uh, it's vanilla cookies and it has 450 calories and uh, 31 grams of protein. Let's see. It's pretty good. Normally the consistency of this low calorie ice cream is not that creamy. But this one I like it. It's good. So, ice cream done. It was pretty good though. Nice vanilla flavor. I will buy this again, it's awesome. Okay, now I will do some work, some editing stuff. I will go outside to the grocery store maybe. And see you later at my last meal of the day. Wow. What is going on guys? So my last meal of the day is Salmon with some sriracha on top and two protein wraps. On top I have a really big salad. And uh, this whole meal has roughly seven, 700 calories. So again guys, I love the salmon, I really do, and I love wraps. But this would not make me full even if I eat another salmon fillet, so I eat salad with it. So sometimes I put some salad and salmon in one wrap and roll it together but today I'm like whatever and I walked 25,000 steps today so there you have it my last meal of the day today I ate around 2.5k calories and I think I'm still in a calorie deficit because with 25,000 steps, it's maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't know about the concept of low calorie dense foods. If you can implement this, try it out, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty effective way to control your, your food and your calorie intake. So if you like stuff like this, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button guys, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.